Charles Sanders Peirce Interdisciplinary Graduate Fellowship started with, it all started within our doctoral colloquium and in cooperation with our graduate school. Uh, it's a cross-disciplinary doctoral colloquium for uh, students to, to establish a com learning community and uh, experience also cross-disciplinary dialogue. We were very happy to have over 40 applications for the first announcement call for uh, applications for the fellowship. So the committee, uh, we were f four, five with external colleagues, were unanimously, without exchanging information, for this uh, candidate. So I'm very thankful to have received the Charles S. Pierce Interdisciplinary Graduate Fellowship. Um, this allows me to combine a lot of different aspects of uh, disciplines such as computer science for the machine learning uh, as well as atmospheric science which I, I'm already familiar with and social science for presenting data to residents. The, I think the main aspect that I wouldn't have had without the fellowship is, is traveling to like international conferences and stuff that's going to uh, help quite a bit and further my development as a professional. It is exactly this mission that the fellowship implies with this, uh, the first step for the graduates. It implements the idea of pragmatism, a cross-disciplinary tool to interact with other disciplines and expand our own horizons. This is very exciting. I get to combine all of these things and have support to do that. Um, and I'm very thankful to the Institute for providing me with the, the funding to do so. I'm involved in the Home Utility Management System, or HUMS project, and what this is is a smart home project um, in a non-traditional sense. So the home includes uh, renewable and decentralized utilities generation, so water and power are collected on site and are renewable via solar panels and wind turbine uh, for power, and a water collection tank uh, for water. And so the idea here is that this is going to build resiliency against climate change in the future. We've already seen water shortages in the Southwest with the recent mega drought, and other events like this are projected to happen uh, over the coming decades. And so this is going to build resiliency against water shortages. And then at the same time, generating power on site um, is mitigating the impacts of burning fossil fuels to uh, create power which we know that fossil fuels emit greenhouse gases into the atmosphere and contribute further to climate change. So that's the broader overview. My aspect of the project is to develop software uh, that presents data to residents, uh, which they can use to make decisions about conserving their resources. Um, so they will see how much water and power they've used in the past, what they have currently, and what they can expect to get in the future based on weather forecasts. And so I'm also running weather forecasts and improving them to go into the software. Uh, and I'm using machine learning to improve those forecasts so that the residents have the highest quality forecast possible to base their decisions off of. His project is a typical example of all these five topics we, we focused on, and it was very important for, for us. It connects different disciplines, having his background from atmospheric sciences, of course, but it's also about social sciences, social behavior. It's also about sustainability. It's also about climate change. It's also about architecture, engineering, technology, digital communication. All those are combined within a beautiful, useful tool. And uh, as you have met him also, he's such a such a gentle soul, he wants to share his knowledge, he wants to, he's very open and curious towards other disciplines and I am very excited with the events we will have with him and to have him around here and proud of it of course, yes. <laughs>